I know you're presenting today and you guys just published your global forecasts. There's a lot of signal to noise ratio issues right now. Tell us about how you guys see 2020 for the ad market. Yeah, so we're expecting deceleration of global advertising. Um, the reality is that uh, a lot of the economic forces that are uh, impacting uh, global economy are impacting global advertising as well. So in most countries around the world, we're seeing pretty meaningful deceleration in growth. Uh, it's interesting that the US and the UK are holding up really well. Um, they're really kind of going the other direction. They're really strong. But you have a, even a China where it's growing like 1.4% um, next year for our forecast. You have about a dozen markets which are expected to decline. And so again, global trade wars, not just the US and China, but other markets as well. Um, you know, the US deficit certainly is an issue. Um, lack of capital expenditures, uh, weakening industrial production. There's a lot of negative factors going on right now. So you actually attribute the, 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 the causality of the deceleration mostly to macroeconomic indicators, not necessarily ad or media industry specific indicators? Um, yeah, in general. In other words, take GDPR, for example. It has almost no effect on spending. Interesting. Um, and so to the extent that the advertising economy in general is correlated in any given country with economic factors, we see slowing economic conditions in most countries. And therefore, when our, certainly our people around the world are making forecasts uh, for their country, uh, that we see this in the advertising forecasts as well. And what role do you sort of see um, political in the U.S. in particular playing in growth ne next year? Is it just about share shift, or do you actually see net new growth as a result of For political, political advertising? Yeah, yeah in, in uh, the U.S. specifically. Political, and, and really it is just the U.S. where political is as big a factor as it is. Yeah. Uh, we're calling for about $10 billion in 2020. Um, TV is certainly the biggest beneficiary of this. Uh, and that's up 25 or so percent from 2018. I am of the view that my forecast may be conservative because fundraising in the first half of 2019 was up 45% over the two year ago period. And that's before Bloomberg came into the race with what now a nine figure buy right now. He spent 31 million already, yeah. Yeah, and, and so um, I think that the risks are more to the upside yeah. uh, on that number, and it's really distorting growth rates. Uh, and it also won't impact just local, but we'll see it, the money in national TV, we'll see it in digital, we'll see it in all sorts of different media.